Frederick Aguilar. Fred Aguilar, a veteran of uh, Shido Khan action and a successful one at that. Sarkozy looks a little bit more well-muscled than uh, Aguilar, but Aguilar relies on speed and finesse. He's a vet. Fighters start out. Knee strike there. Delivered by Robert Sarkozy to Frederick Aguilar. Low kick there. Low kick is like a jab in boxing, John. There we see it again. The fighters clinch. There's an attempted throw there from Robert Sarkozy. Does not complete the throw. Here's that low kick again. Roundhouse. Aguilar looks like he's keeping uh, Sarkozy at bay here. Sarkozy's trying to put on some muscle. Oh, there we see a right knee strike up to the face of Frederick Aguilar. Didn't seem to bother Aguilar, though. He kind of backed off of that. And it definitely hit him. Sarkozy's trying to uh, out-muscle Aguilar, but Ma Aguilar is smooth. He's not necessarily a muscle man. There's an example of it right here. Pushing Aguilar into the corner. Aguilar will have none of that. Sarkozy looks like some type of special forces soldier with that close crop haircut and that mean look on his face. He's a tremendous athlete, and again, so is Frederick Aguilar. There's a round kick, there's a low kick. Ooh, and there's a left hook. I think that caught Sarkozy right in the rib, John. That left hook has put him down to the ground, it looks like. Aguilar is, is fast, and uh, that is probably due to his experience. You see Aguilar following up with the hands to the body. You know, Aguilar sees so many of these punches coming over the years that he automatically reacts before the punch is even finished. There was a right hand, though, I thought, uh, Sarkozy's face. Nice axe kick by Aguilar, just missing Sarkozy. You know, he just missed Sarkozy, but those kind of things throw, uh, throw your opponent off balance, don't you think, Dave? Oh, I agree. Any type of technique like that is going to throw off your rhythm, throw off your timing. Nice combination. Round knee at the bell. Drops Sarkozy to the mat. You know, Dave, I'm boxing people. Uh, what happens in this particular type of a situation? Does the bell save this guy? Shidokan rules are very similar to boxing in that a fighter can be saved by the bell except for the final round. I think that's what we're going to see here. Let's take a look at Robert Sarkozy against world kickboxing champion Manson Gibson in a previous bout earlier this evening. You know, how many times do these guys have to fight in one day, Dave? These fighters fight at least two to three fights to get to the final round. Here we see Sarkozy in a previous match manhandling Manson Gibson using knee strikes, and there's a low kick that downs Gibson to the canvas. And Sarkozy moves on after having disposed of Gibson. You know, it looks like Aguilar uses Sarkozy's weight against him. Aguilar is definitely trying to use his distance, gauging his strikes. Sarkozy is definitely trying to muscle John. You'll see him grab, look for those knee strikes. There's a spinning back kick, just missing Sarkozy. And again, he's trying to drag Aguilar to the ground with him. I don't think that that's going to work for him here in this match. Aguilar is much too experienced. Now, what good will that do him to drag him to the ground? Well, he's trying to bring him down with, he, he's, he's trying to avoid those hands. Those deadly hands of Aguilar to the body have just punished Sarkozy. All right, a great right hook to the body by oh, Aguilar. A, a sneaky right hand there. Sarkozy's down. Down from those body punches. Well, I tell you, I don't know. That takes a lot of strength to be able to strike a big guy like that with no gloves. This is full contact karate. No gloves, no pads. That hurts. And, you know, look at the conditioning. As Aguilar goes back with an, another left hand, it looks like he popped uh, Sarkozy in the mouth. Uh, in incidental, non-intentional face contact. Yeah, you, you get a fat lip and an apology. That's about all. There's another left hook. The front kick. Sarkozy tries to drag Aguilar to the mat. We've seen that technique not work for him the whole evening here. And there we see a tremendous, tremendous technique. A left, a right, and then a knee, John. I think he's out. I don't think he's getting up. He went down like a rock. And I'll tell you something. Aguilar was so That's fast it. that you couldn't even see both of those punches. That is it. A knockout from Frederick Aguilar who will advance in this tournament. Tremendous technique there displayed by the Frenchman. Both these contestants go to each other's corners to congratulate their handlers, and it just goes to show you that this sport is made out of respect. It takes a lot of courage and endurance. And from France, Manu Ento!
and two uh, from France, but now fighting out of uh, California. Dave, what club does he represent out there? Enzo is a strike force kickboxing champion. He packs a mean right hand. This is going to be a tremendous fight here, John. I'm really looking forward to this matchup. Well, this guy, Arbosius, looks pretty long and strong. You see both the fighters feeling each other out here. There's a front kick, high roundhouse kick. Again, just feeling each other out. There we see roundhouse kick. Ento catches and throws Arbosius to the ground. Well, Ento looks a little bit chubby, but uh, that could be deceiving. Ento is a very physical specimen. He's very short. He's very powerful. Tremendous fighter. There's a spinning back kick just catching Ento on the arm. Again, a lot of feeling out here, you'll see. There's a front kick. Sends Ento to the canvas from Arbosius. A front kick. Well, Anto doesn't look any worse for wear there. Well, there's a knee strike there from Arbrosius, and you see Anto grabbing that knee. Axe kick. Spinning back kick. Well, Arbrosius has that height, and that's got to help him. It's an advantage here. I mean, he's the tallest of all the contestants tonight, who I saw. Spinning hook kick. A lot of techniques here being thrown. Notice the grabbing. Both fighters utilizing the grab. There's a three-second grab allowed in Shidokan rules. So that means you either got to do something or uh, get your active. hands off of them. That's correct. You have to be active. Grabbing can be used for knee strikes, throws, sweeps, as we almost saw right there. There's a spinning back kick. Arbosis has kicked Anto a couple of times, but it doesn't look like it's doing any good. Anto is in tremendous physical shape. His conditioning is right up there with the top athletes all over the world. And bare knuckle karate, you can't only just dish it out, you have to be able to take it. That's the end of round one. Let's take a look at some of that first round action. Here's that front kick right to the midsection of Ento, sending him to the canvas. Boy, that was perfectly timed. I was even impressed with that one. Round two. There's a high roundhouse kick there from Arbrosius to the face of Ento, just grazing him. Oh, and a Zabaki technique followed by a knee. Right hook. You know, Ento may be strong, but I think the cost of that strength is speed because Arbrosius is quicker. I think he's thrown Ento out of his game, and he's good with the hands and the feet. Arbrosius is very versatile. Watch how he attacks from every angle. Low, high, medium. Hands, feet, knees. He has really thrown Ento off of his game plan. Notice the movement as well. He's constantly moving. Yeah, he seems to be putting Antu in a uh, bad position here with his back to the rope. Notice his positioning. He's cutting off the ring. He's controlling the fight. I think Antu realizes that because he's not being very uh, offensive. Here we see him trapped in the corner. Oh, and a spinning hook kick. Catching Antu on the side of the head, partially blocked there by the forearm. There's a hook and another uh, knee kick by uh, Abrocious, and Antu does not seem to be moving here. He doesn't look like he's tired, but he just looks motionless. Ento looks confused. You know, maybe he is biding his time for those kickboxing rounds, because after all, that is uh, Ento's specialty. I don't see him We're moving gonna, Oh, a front kick. Ento's biding his time. He's taking a lot of punishment to do so. He's been on the mat twice. And, you know, even when you go down, when you go down unexpectedly, that takes something out of you. Well, you have to get up. There's an axe kick. Oh, and a straight right to the body. Ento's working that inside low kick. Seems to be content to stay oh, against those hands. ropes, and he's taking punches left and right by Arbosis. He's not making many offensive moves. No, oh, a sacrifice kick. Anto survives again, but next round, his specialty, kickboxing. He's up to his neck and stuff now, buddy, I tell you. And you see the fighters exchange low kicks again. Anto's the short of the two. He's got to be the stalker here. Oh, a nice right kick. And that's the best offensive display I've seen from the Frenchman tonight. Takes up both to the ground with that kick. Good left hand. Good left jab to Broch's face. Maybe we're going to see some action here. So far, it's been all of Broch's except for that last flurry by Anto. Anto's making a comeback. Broch's gets a nice right hand and a left. 
Abrocius is pressing the action here. There's Ento with a comeback. Oh, a round kick. Low kick there. Abrocius also has good defense because Ento is not scoring with any of uh, those punches. There's a good left uh, uh, jab to the face of Abrocius. Ento's active. Hands motioning around, trying to confuse Abrocius. There's a left and a right. The right connects. Uppercut there from Abrocius, connecting on Ento. There's a nice left hand to Anton's jaw. There's left another and one. Right and another one. Good combination there from Abrocius. Ento comes right back with that inside low kick. But so far, it's Abrocius with the signs of strength here. Except for those brief kicks by uh, Anto, it's been Abrocius, both with the feet and with the uh, punches. And that's the end of round three. Well, kickboxing is supposed to be Anto. Anto again, chopping away at that lead leg with those low roundhouse kicks. Nadeau there, kind of buttoning up there. This is supposed to be a boxing round for him, and he hasn't done a lot of boxing here. See these fighters exchanging tremendous techniques here. Abrocious has control of this fight here, John. Yeah, he seems to be pushing Anto all over the place. And Anto is not getting inside. Notice as he's punching from a distance. There you see a combination there from Abrocious. There are no counter punches. There are no counter punches here. There's just always a cover up, cover up by Anto. He's got to counter punch and get inside. Use that boxing skill of his. Brosha seems to be stalking Ento here. Constant movement. We don't see any left hooks. There you see Arbrosha coming back with an uppercut. Oh, and there's an axe kick, followed by a punch. Arbrosha is all over the place. And I think he senses that. I think Anto is a little hesitant now to come in. He's keeping Anto in the corner there. There's a nice combination. There's a good right hand to the face. Abrocious is showing that ability to spin with his techniques as well. And Anton is not showing it, uh, any offensive action. It, it looks defensive. And you see He's Abrocious waiting for all the action to come to him, Dave. Abrocious is pressing the match here at this point. Looks very calm and cool and collected there. It was a nice right hand by Anto, but uh, Abrocious came right back. There you see that spinning back kick again, as I mentioned, the spinning techniques. And a right hand by Abrocious misses at the bell. Well, I don't know, but I have uh, Abrocious ahead on all these rounds. I think that Ento is going to have to really pick it up to get anything out of this fight. Ento's going to have to knock Abrocious out. I don't know if you know this or not, John, but Abrocious is an accomplished grappler, tremendous ground fighter. These next two rounds are definitely in his favor. Well, I'll tell you, though, I don't know uh, if we're going to have another two rounds. Uh, the bell has not rung to uh, announce the fifth round here. I think we've got a decision already. Ento's not going to continue, John. Well, you know what? I don't know if he's beat up as much as he's frustrated because he just couldn't do anything with uh, the Lithuanian. I agree with you, Johnny. Kostushis Arbrosius put on a tremendous display of his martial arts talents here tonight. There he is from Lithuania, your winner, Kostushis Arbrosius. And we'll be back for the semifinals of the Shidokan competition.